do a large cold one. Have a good one. Whether you do normally close or normally open, it's the exact same logic theory. Uh, Daikin on some of their like remote. Had a meeting with property management to go over a chiller replacement. And we also have a white K that they're trying to just keep it alive. They basically just kind of renovate it. We're not doing an overhaul though. I, I, I don't know, I mean, it's the right motor. It doesn't mean that there's not something wrong with the motor. Yeah, I would be really interested in what the amp draw is doing. I'm gonna talk about study principles and how you can better study and position yourself. What my recommendation and some of the ways that I did it, I've gotten some comments on it recently, but before I do, I posted today, we're doing a Q&A and just asking some general questions. Starting off with YouTube, HVAC Chillin said, I should start a podcast. And uh, I've thought about it. I've considered a podcast before, and actually, I kind of came down between podcast or blog in the future, one day. But I got the blog, Florida Man HVACR. What is your favorite color? Growing up, it was white. Then I kind of shifted to green and blue. If I had to actually just pick one color now, it would be blue. By the way, you're a funny guy. I get it. You know, it's, it's a joke. Now I learned something new this week. Apparently ADHD medicine is somehow got some kind of caffeine component to it. And supposedly the caffeine part of that is supposed to help calm down the brain of ADHD people. I, I don't know all the stuff behind it. And I always thought that was really interesting because my mind is typically the most clear after I have quite a bit of caffeine, aka coffee. Yes, I have a problem, I know. You don't have to tell me. You're welcome to tell me in the comments how you do it. You got a, you got a, you got a bit of a problem. It's okay, I understand. I appreciate the love. And I also find that days where I try to cut back and I don't drink near as much coffee, I'm a lot more jittery. But I've never been diagnosed, so I got no idea. I don't really care either. <clears throat> I get the question here recently in the comments where guys get on and they talk about, hey, you know what, this thing is, whatever it is I'm working on is so far beyond me, I don't understand it. This isn't things I see, I want to work on this, this and that. They just basically, they're being hard on themselves and they're not giving themselves credit for trying to learn something new by clicking on something they've never seen before. And I also get comments of guys asking like, hey, you know, I'm kind of at that stage where I've, I'm have i trying to step into my next level and I'm trying to figure out what it is I want to do next and how I can take my next steps. The first guy, you got to keep this in mind, watching whatever it is I have, despite how advanced it may seem to you now, You've now seen it and you've now heard it. You've heard somebody talk about it. You've heard somebody explain it and you have a concept of what that device and that technology is. You're not completely blind to it. You may not fully understand it and that's okay. You might also be very surprised on how applicable whatever it is something I said could be to some other situation you walk up to or how similar things start to look between different manufacturers and designs. Don't look at my stuff and discount that you have no way to apply it in your everyday because I, I genuinely think you, you might be surprised if you really stopped and thought about things hard enough how what I'm doing may be just taking something you're already looking at and seeing every day to just a little bit higher level. At the same time, if you keep pushing hard and you keep doing your studies and you're, you're trying to get to this end of the industry, when you walk up to a piece of equipment and you see something that the guy beside you has never seen before, never heard, never had somebody talk about, nothing, you have. Even if it's just some random dude on the internet who doesn't know what the heck he's saying, you've now seen somebody present this and you'll be surprised on how much easier it makes it to connect those dots and to have those things tied together in your mind. Now to you other guys who wonder, okay, so I, I'm, I'm trying to study and I'm trying to take next steps. And I'm trying to figure out, you know, what do I do? I see, and, you know, uh, you're, you seem like a really young guy. How'd you learn all this? How'd you do all this? How'd you, how'd you, how'd you, how'd you, how'd you? Exactly what I did was I read IOMs. And my recommendation to all of you is read IOMs, but don't just read them to just say you read them. Actually go in and take the time to study an IOM and truly learn what it says in there and all the concepts that that IOM talks about. If you don't know what an IOM is, it is an install operation and maintenance manual. Every piece of equipment has an IOM of some kind and a lot of them nowadays will also have a separate service manual. So for example, VRV, VRFs, or even chillers, 
you'll have your IOM which comes standard book it's easy, usually those are easy to find online anybody can get access to them and then you may have a separate service manual that is specifically service procedures and documents and parameters on how you're supposed to test and fix and do very specific things inside of that system. As soon as you come across something in that manual you're not familiar with, whether it be a term, whether it be the way something's designed, whether you see a picture of something that that doesn't, I don't know what the heck that is, immediately stop, put a placeholder, and go research that thing. You can then take, go back to that IOM, and it'll help make that IOM make more sense. Whenever you're reading IOMs and you read things you don't know what they are, most of the time those are really critical principles that are necessary to understand how that equipment is functioning and how I decide where to start and why I'm going to study whatever IOM it is. If I'm constantly running across a specific type of equipment or problem and I find myself struggling to recall certain data while I'm in front of that equipment, then that immediately tells me, okay, I got something I need to go brush up on here. I don't remember this well enough from memory because I haven't touched it enough to just recall everything that I need to. I have posted a manuals page on my website, if you don't know, that's hvactimetx.com. I do offer tr personal training and tech support and consultation services. These are things that I do on my spare time. Right now, the tech support is strictly just email based. So I spend a lot of my even evenings trying to respond to that, or I may take some time on my lunch break and try to respond to those emails. And I can't forget about the tech blog. I'm gonna try to do a every other week post right now and just as a starting point, and we'll see where I take it in the future. Mm, your pizza.